looking for their first championship and only their second year. The Altamont Springs Boom went up against the defending champion Sanford River Rats in a 2016 Florida Collegiate Summer League Championship game on Sunday night. The number one seed Sanford River Rats back at Tropicana Field for the second year in a row. They defeated the Leesburg Lightning 1-0 in the final last season. Rats starter Nick Swan from Florida Atlantic came out firing on all cylinders. He didn't allow a hit until the sixth inning and struck out seven batters on the night. But he would take home no decision. Here's Sergio Lopez in the second inning as he rifles a ball down the right field line. He rounds first and is out like a bat out of hell. All round second and slide head first into third base for a triple. And he gets the rats on the board as Alex Webb would bring him home on a ground ball hit the second base. And the rats take an early 1-0 lead. Fifth inning and now, and Webb thinks he has a base hit, but Mickey Scott at third says not today, making like an Olympic diver as he dives and make a spectacular catch. Top of the sixth, and here comes the boom. No, not Nelly, but Christian Rivera. He gets the boom, first hit of the day, doubling the left field. And look at this handshake between he and the first base coach as Rivera walks over. Major league stuff right Someone here. The but the boom this. failed to score in the inning, though the tide was turning. And it turned completely into seventh with runners on second and third. Christian Hicks, the Florida Gators, singles the center field to score Seth Johnson and Danny Rodriguez. And the Boom take the lead. They would tack on a run on a pass ball to lead 3-1. The relief pitcher Davis Vayner with the bases loaded gets a strikeout to end the Boom threat. And that sparked life into the Rats. Lopez singled the lead off the inning, then reached third on back-to-back -back wild pitches, allowing Garrett Wolforth to bring him home on a sacrifice fly, and it's a one-run ball game. Two outs now, full count. Colin Morrill shoots one into the left center field gap. It scores Zach Dewart, and we are tied, and we have ourselves a ball game. Top of the eighth, and Vayner thinks he has a strikeout, but a third strike gets away to the backstop. This allows Seth Johnson to race home, and the Boom retake the 4-3 lead. But with runners on first and second and only one out, Vayner gets a 6-4-3 double play to end the inning. Bottom eight, Rats threatening with the bases loaded and one out, but Jason Barr gets back-to-back -back punch outs to the end of the frame without allowing a run, and the Boom can feel it. They are pumped with only three outs away from their first title. They tack on an insurance run, which would be huge for the boom in the ninth, as Rivera scores on another wild pitch to give them a 5-3 lead. Bottom nine, last chance for the Rats. Back-to-back -back singles by Dewitt and Morrill gives Sanford life. But then disaster struck for the boom as Dathan Pruitt lays down the bunt. The boom will let the throw to third, but Dewitt beats the throw. And the defending champion Rats have the bases loaded, no outs, and the taste to come back. Omar Villeman grounds the ball to third base, and the throw home takes catcher Mick Tinney off the plate, scoring Dewart from third, and it's a one-run ball game. The bar gets Carlos Cortez to ground into a 3-2-3 double play, and the Boomer are just one out away from the championship. And with two runners on and two outs, it was up to Lopez, but Barr catches Lopez looking, and the Alamont Springs Boom win the Florida Collegiate Summer League Championship in thrilling fashion. They storm out onto the field, with even Boomer joining the fun. The Boom knock off the defending champion Rats, who fall just short of their second consecutive league title, but they finish the season with a league record 29 wins. No Gatorade jugs, no problem, says Christian Rivera, as he races in with a gallon of water, dumping it all over head coach Chuck Shaw during the pitcher session. Christian Hicks was named the most valuable player of the Florida Collegiate Championship game, as he finished the night 1 for 4 with 2 RBI. And to cap it off, the boom with a great moment here is they invite superfan Kyle, who has cerebral palsy, and he's been to every single boom game since their inception last season, onto the field with the Sarah B. Wedding Cup as they celebrate their first ever championship together. So in only their second year of existence, the Altamont Springs Boom defeat the defending champion and number one seed Sanford River Rats on Sunday night. They win their first league title in team history. And a great season to both the Sanford River Rats and the Altamont Springs Boom who come out on top. For FloridaLeague.com from Tropicana Field, I'm Brian Estel.